Algebra 2, 4.7b, Graph Inequalities, Find Vertices. If you haven't seen 4.7a, there's a link in this video's description, so you can go right there. And I also taught this in Algebra 1 in videos 9.5 and 9.6, and there'll be links for those videos, too. We can graph systems of inequalities in two variables, x and y, in the plane finding vertices, if they exist, to graph the solution set of a system or a conjunction of inequalities Graph the inequalities separately on the same axis and find their intersection. Remember, if it's a dashed boundary, that means the points on the line are not included in the solution. And if it's a solid boundary line, the points on the line are included in the solution. We shade in the half plane that includes the points, which are solutions for our inequality. And we substitute 0, 0, the origin, into the inequality. If it's true, it includes the half plane that contains the origin, okay? So I'll show you. Here's our first system of inequalities. 2x plus y is greater than 5, and 3x minus y is greater than 2. And we're going to set it to equal and solve it that way. So we're going to move the inequality signs and put in equal signs, see? And you should know how to do this by now. We add a negative 2x to each side to eliminate it from over here and isolate the y. We get y equals negative 2x plus 5. We know that m is our slope and b is our y-intercept. So we know we have a negative 2 slope, which could be written as negative 2 over 1 for our rise over our run. And it's going to hit the y-axis at this y-intercept b at this 5. We can graph this, and we graph the 5 right here. We put that point there, and we remember that a negative slope falls to the right, a positive slope rises to the right. So it's going to fall, and we're going to go down 2 and over 1. We draw our point there, and we draw our dotted line because it does not include the line. See? If it's just greater than, then it's going to be a dotted line. If it's greater than or equal to or less than or equal to, because of that or equal to, then it's a solid line. Because this is just greater than, it's a dotted line, okay? We draw our dotted line, and we plug in the origin, 0, 0. x is 0, y is 0. And it turns out that 0 is greater than 5, and that's false. So that means the origin is not included in the shaded area. So this is not included in the shaded area. We shade this area. We do the same thing for the blue one. We add a negative 3x to each side. We get negative y equals negative 3x plus 2. And to get rid of this negative, we, can, we know there's an invisible 1 there, so we can divide each term by that negative 1. We get y equals 3x minus 2. It's a positive slope, so we know it's going to rise to the right. It's a 3 rise over a 1 run, and it's going to hit the y-axis at negative 2. We draw a point at the negative 2, and we do a rise of 3 and a run of 1. And we get this point, and we draw a dotted line again because it doesn't have or equal to. It's just greater than. We plug in the 0, 0 again. We find out that it's false. 0 is not greater than 2, so the origin is not included. We color this sign, that side. And the intersection of the individual graphs is the graph of the system. If we laid the pink one on top of the blue one, we would get this. This shaded area is the solution for the system, okay? See? It's this one laid on top of this one, and that's the combined area of the two graphs, okay? So let's find some vertices here. A system of linear inequalities may have a graph that consists of a polygon and its interior. Some problems can be solved by finding the coordinates of the vertices. So here we've got a system of four inequalities. They're also called constraints. Each of these is a constraint. We're going to graph them separately. Now, a constraint is a limitation or a constriction. It's a boundary line. So if you have a curfew of 9 p.m., that's a constraint. You can't go past. You'll get in trouble, right? So if you want to go somewhere that's far away, you can't if it's close to your curfew. So it's constraining you. It's keeping you, limiting you from where you can go because of that time. Or a ball in sports going out of bounds, that's a constraint, that boundary line, okay? So we're going to set each of these to equal 
and solve them with the equal sign. And again, you should know how to do this by now, putting it in slope-intercept form. And we get y equals a negative 2x plus 2. We know our slope is a negative 2. And it's going to hit the y-axis at the 2. We can graph that. We put a point at the 2 on the y. And we do a rise over run as a negative 2 over a 1. We put the other point here. We draw a solid line because it is or equal to. So it includes it. And we can plug in the origin and find out that it's not included, so we're going to shade the top part, okay? We do the same thing with the blue one. We put it into slope-intercept form, and we get y equals a negative 4 thirds x plus 4. It's a negative slope, so it's going to fall to the right. We know it hits the y-axis at 4 right here, see? And our slope is negative 4 over 3, so we're going to go down 4 and over 3, put our point there, and draw a solid line because it does equal it. See, it's less than or equal, so it's a solid line. Then we're going to take this guy, and we're going to say x is equal to half or x is equal to 2, and we're going to draw our two lines. So here, in between 0 and 1 is the half, we draw a line for x there. See, there's no y value. It's all x, so it's two vertical lines. And we know that it's in between here because it's in between a half and 2. All right? For y equals 0, we're going to set this one as equal. And it's going to be everything above here where y is greater than or equal to 0. See? Now, what's going to happen is, when we take these four graphs and lay them on top of each other, so here's the blue one, okay, and we lay the pink one on top of it, you can see the shape that we get. We get this long, skinny triangle right here. See that? Whoops. Let's see if I can get these to stick. We get this long, skinny triangle right here, okay? And when we lay this green one on top of it, well, that's going to cut our triangle off. It's not going to be as long and skinny anymore because we're going to cut the sides off, all right? We lay that green one on top, and it puts a, a boundary line here and a boundary line here. So now our shape is just in this area right here, see? When we lay the brown one on top of it, it doesn't go, go below the x-axis. So what's going to happen is it's going to cut this right off here at the x-axis, isn't it? We lay the brown one on top. And we get this shape now. See? So here's a close-up. That is the shape that we get. That's the polygon we get. Okay? We can find the vertices. We do x is a half and y is 1 by solving this system. See how it's set to an equal sign? x is a half, and we plug it in, and we get this point right here. Here's 1, here's 2. So half is in between the origin and 1. So here's half and 1 on y. That's the first vertice. And this one tells us x is 2, y is 0. So we get that. That's right there. x is 2, y is 0. And we can find the 2 and 4 thirds by solving this. x is 2, y is 4 over 3. And that's this one right here. That's that vertice. And these papers keep getting in the way. We have half and 10 thirds by solving here. X is a half. And then solving 4 times a half plus 3 times a half. See? We plug the half in for X to solve it. And we're going to get 10 thirds. And that's this vertice up here. So we end up getting this polygon right here. And the yellow area is called the feasible region. Feasible means likely or possible, probable. So this is the feasible region, okay? All right. Our next video is 4.8, and we're going to talk about using linear programming. We're going to talk about constraints some more. I'm going to add this video to the Algebra 2 playlist, so you can use it for studying, catching up, or whatever. And there's going to be links to the previous video, 4.7a, and those two Algebra 1 videos when I taught this last year. Okay? And between this video, the ones I taught last year, and the next one, you should really understand what's going on. Okay? I'd say watch these four videos, and you should have no problem. All right? I think you can do this. It's not as hard as it looks. All right? Bye.